Well, good day, friends. Welcome back to another Truth For Today. I'm Pastor Mike, coming to you from the Lighthouse Baptist Church here in Seagrove. We hope today's devotion finds you doing very well. We are taking our reading this morning from the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 32 and verse number 41. Before I read the verse, I want to bring you up to speed. If you know much about the book of Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah is a book of judgment. Jeremiah was raised up and he had about a 40 plus year ministry where he was preaching to the people right before the Babylonian invasion. And uh, right before their city was demolished virtually, they were taken out and taken captive into Babylon. And Jeremiah's message is repent, repent, repent. You know, God, stop. This can be stopped if you'll just turn and do the right thing. What interests me though is in verse 41 of the 32nd chapter, the Lord says this Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. The, the, the passage is talking futuristically, meaning after the captivity, after the city is, is destroyed, after they're taken away in captivity because of the chastisement, God says, look, my heart is to plant them in the future in a land. I want to do good to and by these people. Here's what we can learn from that today. God never, it's never his desire to chasten, to punish, or even to allow our sins to bring fruit in our life that's unsavory. That's not God's desire. God loves His people. Anything that happens, and matter of fact, what was getting ready to happen to them was because they left God no choice. In other words, this is God's true heart. He wants to do good. He wants to bless His people, but their sin, their rebellion, and their idol worship, their turning their hearts from the living God to things that please the flesh and of the world, forced God to do something that was against what he desired to do, which, which was to be good to them. Can I say for you and I today that we ought to take that to heart? We ought to listen to that and learn from it and realize what God really wants to do is bless our lives. All he needs from us is to listen to his word and respond in obedience Obedience brings blessings. Rebellion brings chastisement. So today, understand this, child of God, that your Father, your Heavenly Father, wants to bless you. All He needs from you is just not to give Him a reason to do anything else. So let today's devotion encourage us to look at our lives. If need be, get back on track and prevent, as they could have, anything bad happening or coming on you as a way of chastisement and live in and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Hope today's devotion will encourage your heart, lift your spirits, give you encouragement to stay on the straight and narrow. And may the Lord richly bless you today is our prayer.